Assalamu alaikum, how are you guys doing? In UK meeting some wonderful, wonderful, amazing people. I just met Osman and he's been Muslim 20 years and we want to know what amazed him so much, pulled him in to accept this beautiful way of life and keep with it for over 20 years. Osman, how are you brother? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Feeling really good. Spiritually high. Alhamdulillah. So tell us, what pulled you in? What amazed you about Islam that had you accept it? You know, it's very strange with me. I didn't know anything about Islam. But I used to live the high life. You know, going out, this, 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 enjoying myself. Something like Suraj Wahaj, before he became a Muslim. Yeah. I met him, by the way. Suraj Wahaj, yeah. <laughs> so, one day after I came back from a big... I used to be a coach, football coach. Rugby, and I came back from one of our dinners, and I was still feeling, we had a wonderful evening, I was still feeling down, empty. Then I thought, there must, be, there must be more to life than this. This was a Saturday night. So the next morning, I just laid in bed, and I just said, okay, if there's a God, I want to meet you. If you want to meet me, let's get together. I said to him, but, I'm not going in the church because I used to drink too much and I was conscious that I might be smelling of alcohol. So I left it. Then my life started to change. It was amazing what happened. I didn't want to go in the pub anymore. I didn't want to do anything. Then one day, some boys came and they talked to me. And after they got out of me that Jesus is the Son of God, I just decided, I'm going to be a Muslim. So I just, they said you had to be a bath, to take a bath. They didn't know about this. I just took a bath, walked down to the mosque. After a few times, uh, you know, you have, uh, what, what do you say? You are reticent. But from about six o'clock to eight, they kept telling me, come on, do it, do it. Then I took the shahada. And I tell you something. It's the best thing I have ever done in my life. And if you really want to have a joyous life, this is contented. It's contented because you know what's wrong and you know what's right. And if you apply it in your life, you're going to have fun. The prophet says, contentment is in the heart. It's not money. That's my story of coming to Islam. But let me tell you a quick little one. When I came to Islam, they told me about this man. And because he's a Jamaican like myself, I said, they said he got up in the morning, five o'clock to pray. I says, no chance, nobody prays at five o'clock. <laughs> so then I thought, if I ever see this Siraj, I'm gonna tell him, yeah? So you would never know what Allah did. Siraj, Rahaj, came all the way from America because of a program to Oldham. To here, yeah, where we're, we're, we're at, yeah. In Oldham, and sit in a circle while we're eating. I could not believe it. And then I told him, I said, Siraj, when I first saw you, and you were talking about this getting up early, I didn't know it was Fajr then. I thought, what a schemer this, what a guy. So now, what, do you, what can I tell you, Siraj? I now get up at five o'clock and pray for you. Now you, <laughs> as one who took the shahada, testified, made the declaration, there's nothing worthy of worship except yeah, the creator yeah, of the heavens and yeah, the earth. Yeah, yeah, Muhammad yeah, yeah. is the messenger. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like Jesus, Moses, Abraham, yeah, yeah, they all yeah, came yeah. with the same message. Yeah, they came yeah, with the yeah. purpose of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worship the creator, not the creation. You start living it. Yeah, yeah. Now in it, 20 years, yeah, yeah, you yeah. haven't given up. You're no, 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 it's it. getting stronger. It's getting strong. Why? Because you're implementing it. Uh, that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest You've thing. You've got to implement it. You've got to implement it. You know, if you get the recipe for a cake, if you don't make the cake, you can't get the joy. You get that's it, <laughs> right? So you can't take the shahada yeah. and then skip everything just, else or just go through the rituals no, no, and just no. not really have the essence of it, you know. It's supposed to, go ahead. The best thing, take out one or two virtues. Say it, Allah loves kindness. And love is one of the greatest virtues. Just start being kind to people and you'll see how your life just change. You'll just start feeling fresh and beautiful. Now from that example, because I call kindness, it's a coin. Kindness to me is like a money. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you know when you die, you can't take our paper money back. 
or you can't take the coins back, but you take back the kindness, the things that you've done to people. So I spend kindness. Yeah, I use it as a coin. So like I, I saw a, a tramp the other day, a person was destitute and something went on between he and I. And uh, you know, nice, I don't want to give you the story, the full story, because I'll be giving away certain things. And I ended up giving him some money. I gave him some money for Allah to feel good. Yeah? Because I'm doing one of his virtue, kindness. But he says he's the most kind. So that's it, implemented. Take with that, run with that. Thank you so much for sharing that story with us. Hope you guys got the benefit from the UK, Manchester. We'll see you next time. Peace with you. Assalamu alaikum.